Namaste Nepal. This is Jose. Uh, Will and I are actually gonna change it up today and start this vlog in the evening because we have a special place to take you all. But first, let's hop in a taxi and get the evening started. Thank you, sir. We made it. We made it to the Annapurna cable car. Pretty smooth. All right. It wasn't a bad ride. It took us like what, less than 10 minutes from what yeah. we're saying? It's a very quick ride. Um, and Will ended up using an app called InDrive. InDrive is my, my go to app here. It's kind of like Uber. You get to negotiate your prices for transportation. It saves all the hassle of trying to like in person with the taxi drivers. Which I don't mind either, but it just takes away the, the stress of it all. Yes. Yeah. 300 rupees. 300 rupees. Ooh, there's a cafe here. Restaurants, just so you won't have any accidents on the nine minutes that you're above ground. They take visa, which is so good to know. Oh, oh. Sorry guys. <laughs> Go buy our tickets. <laughs> As you guys can see, oh, yeah. we made it to the Annapurna cable cars here in Pokhara. And we figured we'd bring you all during sunset. I mean, how romantic is it? <laughs> Will's face. <laughs> He's buying the tickets right now. We'll tell you a little bit more about the cable car once we're in the cable car. But here is a image of what it looks like. 2,300. And then of course, it's like a 50 thing charge for using debit card. 2,355, so they're around 18 US dollars. Round trip? Yeah, round trip. So you can get it to go one way also, um, which we thought about it once because we are gonna actually stay at a hotel up there, but. Nah, bro. Let's go. <laughs> I've been wanting to come on this thing forever. Forever. Like, we were gonna go do it the other day, but we did the rides at the Disneyland, and we're like, mm. <laughs> I got nauseous, guys. When we got home, I was legitimately like, I was out, and I. it takes a lot for me to get out. I was out. I don't know if it was because we went around 17,000 times or what, but I had a lot of fun, and I'd do it again. Do I want to show the tickets? Oh, yeah. Let me hide my bank. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. He is so excited, you guys. I kind of have a thing for like adrenaline stuff. Which we're not, we want to go paragliding and we want to do bungee, but we have to wait to do those. So that'll happen another time. But boy, oh boy, it's going to be fun. <laughs> but this is the next best thing. I actually don't know what we're getting ourselves into this evening. I just know that it takes you to the very top of the mountain. Yay! And you get this viewpoint of the beautiful lake. But other than that, I don't know what else is in store for us. Are you kidding me? But I'm excited. Are you kidding me? We get to see the mountain range, the Annapurna mountain range. If it's clear, and I'm praying that it's clear. Oh, and we're going at sunset. So fingers crossed, guys, we get a beautiful sunset. Good, how are you? Fine, thank, nice day. Thank you. For once, they have finally, accurately, painted Will's feet. Oh my gosh, it's true. Identical. Actually, it's kind of sad. <laughs> it's kind of, I have a size US 13 foot, so. All right, here we go. Thank you, sir. Woo! Man, we love this. Yes, look at her. She's catching her angle. Funny, this is an influencer in the wild. If you've never seen one. Also, influencer is such a weird term. <laughs> Everybody in the world's an influencer. I was going to say, girl, you need to close the door. Thank you. Why oh. is she still open? Oh, the window's open. We're getting some of the Annapurna fresh air. the road jack. Let's hit the road jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. 
gonna hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Our greatest hits volume two album will be coming out later this year. Here we go. Woo! Oh, 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 she is speaking. Oh, 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 girl. Oh, girl. Oh, oh, why is she tilting? Oh, all right, and we're off, you guys. Oh, let's say hi. Hey, guys. Hi. They're not even looking at us. Blame. Blamos. All right, how's it going? It's going good. I wish you would have sat on my side. The view of the lake. I'll sit on that it's way. On the way back down. Yeah, all right. But the view's beautiful. Honestly, you guys, from where we are now, you get this awesome view of the lake with the Peach Pagoda on the top, Shiva right next to the pagoda, and right to the left side of it all is the town of Pokhara, and it's massive. I just wish I could see what's behind me. No, uh, really, I can't <laughs> see anything, but we're about to... Oh, oh! Wow! Okay, this is beautiful. Holy smokes! I want to stand up and get some fresh air, but we'll say you no. <laughs> Since when do you want to do that? But you will get on a, a ride that goes five feet in the air. Did your ears uh, pop? Yeah, they just did. Mine just popped. Ooh! Okay, this is way cooler. So as we're making our way up, you're starting to see a lot of these homes. Fun fact, a lot of these homes are homestays and places where you can stay if you wanted to get a change of scenery of Pokhara. So you could spend the first couple of nights by the lake and then you, what's the word I'm looking at? Switch it up by staying up here, take the cable car to the very top and stay at one of the homestays at the very top to see the sunset and just a beautiful lake. Now, I, I don't know if this is a home stretch, but this is going way up high. Would you say it's oh. like 45 degree angle or 90 degree? Honey, if it was a 90 degree angle, we would not be standing still right here filming <laughs> this right now. <laughs> no, she is slowing down. She needs to make sure she got all this. Momentum. Momentum. Mm -hmm. We're here. You like those vocals? They were not good. I'm quite the baritone. Oh, no, not yet. You knew what to get out before. Okay, <laughs> mistake. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Not a mistake. All right. All right, let's go see what else we can find. <laughs> so as you can see, there's lots of things for you to do. Cycle, zip line, this bicycle thing. I mean, we're here for the main star. Which is clearly the cable car. Woohoo, <laughs> Ryan. Oh, this camera's gonna pick up how beautiful it is. It's such a shame, it's hazy. Damn you, global warming. Why are you preventing Will and I from witnessing this true beauty in front of us? Why? Why? Jose said he's gonna do that swing. I feel like I would do it, but like, it's not that exhilarating. Apparently there's a restaurant up there. Where's the sign for it? Give me a stoic look. Give me a pondering look. Give me like a sad look. Give me an aspirational look. That's method acting one on one, everyone. Exactly. Like that, you gotta be ready at all times. And then the director says action. You need to know your lines and you need to know exactly how to do it. No problem. So, yeah, like we were saying. There's lots of hotels and homestays up here, and that's because it connects you from Lakeside, which is definitely 
probably the most popular spot here in Pogara. To Serengat, is it Serengat? Serengat? Serengat. Serengat? If I'm pronouncing it wrong, please let me know. Um, but yeah, which is this top hillside up here. Yeah, I, I, there, I, I was, I was thinking there would be more to it, but my mouth just stopped, which is probably a good thing. So it's 4.38. The security guard at the uh, station told us at the last call to go back to Lakeside at 5.10. Sun sets at 5.30. So we need to catch that 5.10 cart. If not, Will's gonna piggyback me down the hill, down the mountain, back to Lakeside. No, your ass is rolling down <laughs> it. I'm gonna push you down, get in ball formation. Pretend you're an armadillo and you can roll down there. <laughs> Let me know how it goes because I'm staying up here. I have my card. I can book a room. <laughs> I'm good or, for the night. Or or we can find a way to connect the zip line thingamajig to the lines of the cable car and zip line down the cable car. And this is when I walk away, <laughs> take the camera off him, let him stop talking. Cause I don't know what the hell he's saying. Oh my gosh, I literally forgot to look at, whoa. Oh, uh, I have goosebumps. You can't see it. <gasps> Can you see it? Oh my gosh, you guys. There's a viewpoint that way, so maybe we could go catch that viewpoint to show you what we're trying to show you. Let's go, let's, let's go. go, let's go, let's go, go, go. Yeah, I'm gonna book a night up here. Yeah. Wow. Hi. We don't even know if we're going the right way. <laughs> but we see a path and we're like, well, we're gonna take it. Okay. For all of those who are watching and who have been following us along, know that whenever we go trekking or hiking, whew, we tend to have a slip up because of the shoes we're wearing. And today happens to be a day we are wearing chucks. Again, this was not planned. We just saw viewpoint sign and we knew we had to go see it ourselves. I think it was back there. Oh, but so far so good. And we have like 15 minutes to get to this viewpoint before the cable cart heads back down. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. The fact is that we're looking at the Himalaya range right in front of us. I never in a million years thought I, I, I can't even like, I never in a million years thought I'd be here. I never thought that I would see this in person. This is one of the things you watch as a kid or hear about or read about. And you're like, oh, it must be beautiful. Here we are. Life is crazy, but it's also really, really amazing. And I am not taking this for granted one second. This is stunning. Oh my gosh. We're very blessed people to see this. We are. Like, extremely blessed. Oh my gosh, I'm geeking out and I'm like, I can't even see the whole thing. I can only <laughs> see the tip. Just the tip. Just the... It's a bittersweet moment a, a very much pinch me moment yes that we're having and it's crazy to think that there may be people on top of these mountains as we speak trekking their way to these tips like one how crazy are you to commit to enduring such limits that your body could serve i don't know like i don't even know how to talk about it because I can't mentally put myself in the shoes that they're in right now. It looks fake. This looks <laughs> fake. This looks so fake right now. This is like one of the most beautiful pictures. I wish I could find my drone right now because this is out of this world incredible. Mm -hmm. And to see it at sunset, this is one of the things you have to see at Pokhara during this time of the day. Sunset, looking over the Himalayan range. Beautiful incredible like it's so weird how far away we are the clouds are like ruining my view by the way so they could literally move if they want to 
because I want to show everybody like how it's stunning this is. But the tip of these mountains are so crisp to the eye. And this is even this is even like half or more than half of Everest in height. That's crazy. I can't even imagine the day we see Mount Everest. I hope, I pray that we get to. How high are we? The elevation, I have no idea. Thank you to the 21st century. We downloaded a elevations app. For free. For free. To the can budget. And we are 3,881.2 feet above sea level. That is to say that Mount Everest is still another 5,000 or so feet higher up than where we stand now. If we didn't like, track this, we took a cable car up, so. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. I can see now why it takes, what did you say, like seven weeks, if not more? It could take, yeah. To trek up Mount Everest. Like, that's insane. That's like on a whole other level of being a human being. You're not even a human being at that point. You're you like, are a damn champion. Yeah, you're a champion. That is wild. And what's even more wild is that we have 10 minutes to get back down to ride the cable car. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Namaste. Namaste. Oh, you stunning beast. This is definitely something I suggest. If you're in Pokhara, just do it. Just do it. I don't care if you're like, it's too touristy or whatever. That's fine because touristy leads you to beauty as you can see as well. So go do it. It's a tourist thing for a reason. Yes, this is him to a T. That's how you do it. <laughs> Let's go. Go. Perfect timing. Uh, excuse me? Yes, oh, go ahead. Thank you. thank you. Guys, that was so much fun. Again, if you are in Pokhara, come here. If you're afraid of heights, you'll be fine. You're closed in, you bring somebody with you. This is so fun. Plus to see like these little villages and all the viewpoints up here, just makes me want to come back up here again and stay or do something. Oh my gosh, this view. I'm glad I'm sitting here on the way back as opposed to going. Yeah, you got the best Because this views. view cool is, it's pretty breathtaking. I wish this camera could pick up just how beautiful it is, but I hope everybody knows on the other end of this, like, it's stunning. Camera, our words, not gonna do it justice. Ooh, oh, this is a great view. This is our view right now. Cabin 11. So if you got this one, consider yourself lucky. We're blessing this for whoever's next. <laughs> I'll leave some of Jose's little pizzazz on these chairs for you all. Nah. If you happen to get a day where it's super clear, yes. don't tell me about it, because I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to see the footage. I don't want to see how beautiful it is. Just let me stick with my hazy day <laughs> and enjoy the beauty that it is. Oh, oh here we go, gosh, here, here we go. go, here we go. Okay. All right, let me, oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. Honey. Okay, camera's oh, good. Oh. Look at this view, though. Wow.